Good day, YouTube. Gosh, I should have looked at what the date is today. Something around the, I don't know, 16th of August 2022. Um, not very prepared, am I? This is my 1999 Chevy Tracker. i um, done a few videos on it. Um, picked this up Central Oregon and uh, drug it back over the hill to the West Coast um, for 500 bucks. Um, turned out to have a uh, destroyed timing chain. Got that all fixed up and I've been driving it. Um, uh, being a nice little car. We got airplanes today. Yeah, cool. I like it. But uh, the Elysis plate has been in the glove box. So uh, I don't suppose the uh, local police is going to find any humor in that. We got to get that thing put back on. Um, so what, what I found here was like a broken bolt or something that was sticking out from the inside out. But it wasn't long enough to do anything with. And the other one is blank. So I'm staring at this going, you really don't have good access from the back side. I've tried to get in there. So I think what I'm going to do is put some nut certs in. I thought I'd do a little video. of Maybe I've done one in the past, but uh, <clears throat> about installing nut certs. Pretty handy little uh, devices, those little nut certs are. So let me uh, show you what these are, if you're not familiar. And uh, we'll do this. It's just going to be a quick video, putting a couple nut certs in. That plastic bumper so I can uh, put the license plate on I've uh, stuck a little screwdriver in through this hole to know that I have oh, around 3 8 of an inch and I've actually already compared it to a quarter 20 nut cert or rivet nut people also call them to know that uh, there is plenty of room for it well there's just enough room for it so let me uh, show you what these are all right we're in the shop my big toolbox. This drawer is nothing but uh, pop rivets, rivet nuts, and um, my stud welder. So, and my philosophy is if you don't already have this stuff, when you go to need it, you'll just find another way to do it because you don't have the right stuff. So, I keep, I try to keep fasteners and things like that very well stocked so that anytime I run into something, I just have it. And we can just take care of it. So there's a, that's a pneumatic rivet tool. It's not what we're talking about today. So there's two tools that I have for rivet nuts or nut certs. Um, this is the big tool. I'm showing you, you can, uh, most of the stuff is you can go on Amazon and get it. All right. There's, again, two tools. This is the big tool, which means it does the bigger size rivet nuts. And then there's a smaller tool. Looks more like a pop rivet gun. I'll show you these in a little bit of detail. Um, here again, I'm showing you so you can uh, look at the information on it and run on Amazon and get you one. Um, and this one does a variety of smaller ones, and it comes with a bunch of dies. So, for example, this is the quarter twenty die for this tool. I don't actually know what's in it. Whatever box in this is empty is what's in it. And so it's right now currently got a 1024. All right. So this is uh goes pretty small and even metric sizes up to quarter 20. All right. It doesn't go bigger than that. And quarter 20 might be a little bit hard to pull. I bet the bigger tool also does quarter 20. And it's a little easier to pull. So I made this case for it so it fits good in my toolbox. Well, I bought the case and modified it to fit. But let's put this one away. We'll get the big tool out. It looks like it probably has a quarter 20 in it currently. And this, you know, you thread the insert on. I'll show you in detail here in a minute after you pull these arms out like so. You thread the insert on and you just squeeze these down. Remember, it doesn't break anything off like a pop rivet. So don't go crazy. Um, and then you just thread this out. Okay. So let's see the nut cert. So this, I, I believe this is quarter 20 already. So we have the right die. Again, this comes with dies. Uh, not every kit comes with the same dies. This one comes with a bunch of metric and SAE. So 
um, 3 8 16 5 16 18 and quarter 20 so the bigger sizes and then it has a metrics m8 m6 m10s okay that's what this kit has in it all right it's a good kit i've i'm using them a bit they're sure handy to have then you go to the inserts or the rivet nuts themselves and i've stocked up quite a bit some of these you can get as a kit and yeah, there are some metrics and stuff in here, which I probably won't use too many of. But uh, you can get these big kits. I bought many kits and then some individual sizes. These kits have multiple sizes. Then I bought some individual sizes so I could really just stock up. And I had some projects that I needed to use a bunch. So um, I just wanted to have plenty. So I've marked everything in my boxes. So... This one here, for example, is quarter 20. Let me show you another tip that I did in the other case. Um, because each of these rivet nuts requires a particular drill bit size to fit properly. So in this case, I took the time to look up the drill bit size. So, for example, a quarter 20. Let me get you in frame, sorry. The quarter 20 takes, in red I wrote 3 8 takes a 3 8 drill bit. Um, a 10-24 nut cert takes a 9 30 seconds drill bit. And again, a 5 16 18 takes a half inch drill bit. 3 8 16 nut cert takes a 9 16 And a uh, half inch takes a 3 quarter. I'm not even sure if this tool will do a half inch or not. It might. I don't know if I have the die though. So let's get a couple quarter 20s because I think that's what we're rolling with out of this and uh we'll go get this started so one two we'll put these back so we don't drop them and spend the rest of the day picking them off the floor we'll double check the big tool to be sure that is a quarter 20 oh it's not or is it oh yeah it is too okay it's good you want to open the handles and thread that baby on there, okay? That's good. And then when you pull this down, it's just going to squeeze this here, right? And then it'll pinch itself to the back side of the, in this case, the plastic bumper. And you know, you've used pop rivets before. It's the same theory, all right? So that and I need a 3 8 drill bit. Um, so I got one uh, right there in that drill. So... Let's head on out and uh, put these in real quick. So first things first, we got to drill those out to three eighths. Oh, I don't know what this is. It's a moth. Yuck! Get it out of there. So drill that carefully. Drill carefully. I didn't take much. All right, we've threaded the. Nut cert onto the stud and a nice fit into the bumper. As we pull this, hopefully that fits well. And then we squeeze her down. Okay. I'm going to thread that in just a little more, make sure it's, yep, it's good. It was fine. And then we unthread it. Now we'll spin the other insert on. Remember, collar towards the tool. You won't, have, you won't be able to put it in backwards. It won't fit in the hole, but anyway. We're pushing in as we're squeezing. Nice and tight. There's our nut certs. Let me grab a couple bolts. Let's put this license plate on. All right. Well, I don't have any really short bolts, so a couple of washers. Hopefully it doesn't bottom out. I think it'll be fine. I can get some later, but for demonstration purposes, here we go.
Again, I sure like the fact that I have these things. And here we are Saturday morning, 7 o'clock. And uh, I can get this little project done in just a few minutes and we can move on with our day. Go, go nuts here. But nice and firm. Alright. Good little project. Guys, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing. Give me a thumbs up on the way out if you wouldn't mind. We'll catch you on the next video.